hello good people welcome to my youtube channel we really had a wonderful time on monday's live stream i really did enjoy interacting with you on a personal level and discussing things that i know we are all curious about when it comes to self-publishing i also know a group of people who did not make it to the live but who have been watching afterwards and some who feel like the video is a little bit too long don't worry i will shorten it for you in a way that you can consume the information very comfortably however i really did enjoy that and i'm so happy for all the feedback i'm getting from that live stream i hope very soon we can organize another one and speak about the businesses that happen in the digital space have you had clients who feel the need to speak to you inappropriately to be very flirtatious or even make sexual advances at you in the digital space ladies and gentlemen this is something that happens more in the digital space than it happens in a case of face-to-face -face interaction and this is because these people assume that they will never meet you they will never um, come to, into direct contact with you and so they feel the need to be inappropriate or disrespectful today's video i'd like us to discuss how to deal with these people while at the same time maintaining the business that they bring to us sexual advances flattery and any other inappropriate kind of communication or interaction happens to the best of us it happens to men as much as it happens to women as i have said it is more likely to happen in the digital space than it is to happen on a face-to-face -face interaction even though in that case it happens how do you deal with someone who is miles away and who is willing to part with a lot of money for business or a service that you're giving them but at the same time feel that they have the right to be inappropriate or to be disrespectful to you now don't get me wrong people do socialize get even their husbands and wives in this online space people make really serious connections and life-changing connections in the digital space but in equal measures people also make enemies in the digital space even stalkers to some extent what i want us to discuss here today is something that i am sure most of us has faced especially if you work in the digital space or if you've been here for a long period of time A 2020 issue now available. Don't wait. Subscribe now at www.read.awakeningafricamag.com and stay connected. I think we've all been told that we are beautiful. Sometimes somebody can say you are beautiful or you're handsome or you have a wonderful smile or some feature of your body looks good in a very simple and complimentary manner. And that is okay. I think all of us do admire each other in one way or another and we do point it out. It is okay for somebody to point this out to you and it is okay for you to say thank you. You are nice for saying that. It is okay to accept compliments and to be appreciative of the things that make us beautiful in our own unique ways but in the same time you need to be able to draw the line there are clients who will go to the extent of asking you to send them your photos whether appropriate photos or inappropriate photos you need to know how necessary it is for you to be exchanging photographs with clients you also need to notice when a client begins to use words that are inappropriate or are necessary in your communication for example it is okay for a client to say you know what you have beautiful eyes i have noticed them you'll say thank you very easily but again it will be very unnecessary for a client to say a comment like your eyes are s-e-x-y it really doesn't fit in to a business kind of interaction unless of course you've made a social personalized interaction with this person and they know that you're comfortable with you speaking in a specific manner with them then it is very unnecessary and inappropriate for somebody to say such things to you as 
their service provider or business partner. Some clients will be as direct as telling you, I want more from you or I want a hookup. And ladies and gentlemen, hookup means different things to different people. So be very keen with the language that these customers use and know where exactly it is that they are crossing the line with you. Sexual harassment starts with simple sentences like that or simple advances like that. And it is up to you to know if you want to stop them or if you want to entertain them. In this digital space, like any other kind of business or any other kind of interaction with anybody, you are more likely to be treated the way you treat yourself. If you treat yourself with some sort of composure, if you treat yourself with some sort of respect, you expect to get the same energy from the people you interact with. In the same way, human beings are very curious and very experimental in nature. So sometimes people will say things that are inappropriate or things that are genuinely and clearly crossing the line to see just how far they can push your boundaries or to see just how far you're willing to take things in order to get business. It is up to you in this case to stop the client before they go so far. For me, the languages I would use to make sure that I am respectful to them, I am keeping my, my boundary and I am strongly saying no to their advances, I would say words like no, do not say that. For example, if somebody said, hey, why don't you send me a picture of your legs? I will send them a message as simple as no. If they're asking me in person, I will simply tell them no. No smile on my face. I won't give them. Most people say that women have a way of saying no when they're saying yes. Make sure that your no is a no. It is very clear to them. So anytime somebody is trying to make the initial advances at you or initial inappropriate communication to you, it is important that you say no and that your body language, your posture and everything in you shows them that you are saying no. In this case, two things are likely to happen. Either you will lose the business or the client will stop their inappropriate advances and continue strictly on business terms. The second way you can make a client know that you're not comfortable with what they are doing or what they are saying to you is simply telling them that they are making you uncomfortable. For example, if a client said, you know, you have an S-E-X-Y smile, just for example, you could say, um, you know what, thank you so much. I do know I have a wonderful smile, but your language is making me uncomfortable. It might seem direct, but most human beings try and push buttons, as I said. And when you tell them so directly that they are making you uncomfortable, they are likely to either apologize or become very arrogant about it. In each case, you will decide what move you want to make next. You must know as a human being that sometimes it is more important to maintain your dignity than it is to get any form of remuneration. You need to make a choice. You will also have identified yourself as a respectful person and as such, they will continue treating you and even even take you more seriously when it comes to business. Now, let me tell you an advantage of being taken seriously. When people take you seriously, you can always hike your prices and they will still come back because they expect that you're very serious about your job and as such, your results will show in what you do. The third way that you can stop customers from behaving like this with you is telling them directly, you know what, I would love to work with you. I really feel like I can deliver something unique for your company. However, the way you speak to me is making me uncomfortable. I wish you could stop or I wish we could speak with each other with much more respect. Again, the chances are you will be taken more seriously, but the minimal percentage of people will withdraw from uh, conducting business with you. Do not worry about those people. Let me tell you something funny about the digital space and even the environment as a whole. Each time you interact with someone and they're pushing your boundaries and you allow them to push your boundaries, you're only giving them the power to push them further. At the end of the day, I feel like we allow the things that happen to us by the way we behave ourselves. The minute you notice that the communication is inappropriate or something is wrong somewhere, it is important that you call it out. And because this is an interaction that is happening through the internet, the likelihood is they'll just piss off and go away. Or they will behave and conduct business with you. Finally, you must note 
For us girls, we have the habit of bringing up our spouses, our partners, when we are speaking to the opposite sex and they are making inappropriate advances at us. For example, girls would like to say, you know what, my boyfriend will not appreciate when you speak to me like that. Uh, my husband will not be very happy if he hears you speaking to me like that. I'd like to warn you from using these lines. Majority of the time, when you're using such lines, and even for men, when you're using your spouses as an ex excuse for somebody not to treat you inappropriately you will only excite them and make them even push your boundaries further it is more important for you to be clear and direct when you're saying no when you're saying that they're treating you uncomfortably it is more important that your body language your facial expressions and your feeling from within is actually saying no or I'm uncomfortable with this. I hope this video has been very informative to you. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you had any inappropriate treatment online? Has anyone made inappropriate advances to you or have you made inappropriate advances at someone else? Let me know. Let us have this conversation. Until my next video. Goodbye.